Hello dear Airbyte users, I guess you're watching this video because you'd like to learn more about our Octavia CLI project. I'm Augustin and I've been working on this project for the past months. I'm really excited to share with you a quick introduction about the tool and a simple tutorial to show you how you can make the most of the Octavia CLI. So first, what is Octavia CLI? This is a command line interface to help you manage Airbyte resources from the command line with YAML files. You will be able to declare sources, destinations, and connections in YAML files, and then run an Octavia command to create these resources on your Airbyte instance. So why should you use Octavia? Basically, you can use Octavia if you don't want to manage your Airbyte configurations from our web user interface. You can also use Octavia if you want to store your Airbyte configurations in Git repositories. Octavia is also convenient if you want to deploy the same configurations across multiple Airbyte instances, or if you want to perform some automations around the deployment of Airbyte configurations in a CI pipeline, for example. Before jumping into the tutorial, I have a small disclaimer to share. At the time of recording this video, we just released Octavia CLI in its alpha version, so there is still some big or small improvements we plan to make. To make sure Octavia CLI will work for you, feel free to check all the open GitHub issues we have with the Octavia CLI level. You can also reach our team on Slack, we have a channel for Octavia CLI. And of course, all the feedback or open source contributions are welcomed. And I'd like to share an additional disclaimer. At the time of recording this video, Octavia will only work on self-hosted Airbyte instances. It's not going to work on Airbyte Cloud. So let's start the tutorial now. We're going to create a connection between a weather forecast source and a Postgres database in Airbyte with our Octavia CLI. We are shipping the Octavia CLI in a Docker image. So the single requirements you need to run Octavia is to have Docker installed and running. If you don't, feel free to go to docker.com to download and install it. And of course, you need to have an Airbat instance up and running and reachable from your machine. So let's install the Octavia CLI now. You need to browse to the Airbat GitHub repository Check the README page of the Octavia project, read carefully the install instruction, and copy-paste the following command to your terminal. This will run the installation script. So after running the install command, you need to run source on your bash profile. Then you can check the Octavia command is available, and feel free to check the help message displayed to understand a bit more how this command works. So we have two ways to tell Octavia where your Airbyte instance is running. You can either use the Airbyte URL option on the Octavia command, or set the Airbyte URL in the .octavia file that we created during the install procedure. Then please create a directory for your Octavia project. You can run the Octavia init command from this directory, this will automatically create all the directories that are required for the rest of the comments. So let's first try the Octavia list command. This command allows you to list all the available connectors on your Airbyte instance. You can run Octavia list connectors sources to list all the sources, or Octavia list connectors destinations to list all the available destinations. If you need to quickly find the ID of a specific connector, you can run Octavia list and pipe the output to a grep command. So now let's create our first YAML file to define our source using the open weather connector. I copied the connector of the ID using the Octavia list command. You can now run the following Octavia generate command. This command generated a configuration.yaml file. You will have to edit this file, and we added a lot of comments to help you fill the configuration fields. So I'm now filling the configuration with some example values. I remove the optional fields, 
and I use a secret value for the app ID. The secret value is simply an environment variable with the name I define. This name here is open weather API key and I declare the API key in my .octavia file, which is in my home directory. So to generate a destination, we can repeat the same process that we did for the source. We first list the destination connectors and retrieve the ID of the Postgres connector because we want to create a Postgres destination. We then run Octavia generate destination, the ID of the Postgres connector and the name of our destination. We then tweak the configuration according to our needs and set the secret value where needed. The Octavia apply command is the command that actually does something on your Airbyte instance. At the moment, I don't have any source or destination defined, but after running Octavia apply, it will parse the configuration in the YAML file that we created and create the source and destination accordingly. Let's simply run Octavia apply. It runs the creation of all the resources we defined in YAML. And I now have a MyWeather source and a MyDB destination in my Airbyte instance. So now that our source and our destination are created, we can run Octavia Generate Connection to generate a connection between the source and the destination. We need to give the path to the source configuration, the path to the destination configuration, and finally, the name of our connection. This command also creates a YAML file that you can edit to configure your connection. Here, for instance, I'm changing the scheduling of the connection. We can then run once again the Octavia apply command, and this will trigger the creation of the connection on Airbyte. I now have a connection between the open weather connector and my Postgres database. So now let me show you how you can update a configuration you already created. Let's say I want to change the latitude of my weather forecast and I want to change the port of my Postgres database. I edit my YAML files, I save it, and then I run Octavia apply again. I'm now prompted with validation of the changes. In this example, I validate the change and they are propagated to my Airbyte instance. You might have realized that the Octavia apply commands generates state.yaml files for each of your resources. These files are used internally by Octavia to detect changes on your resources. You should not edit them and keep them carefully. If you have one of these files, it means a remote resource was successfully created by Octavia in the past. Thank you very much for following this tutorial. This was a simple introduction, so I did not cover all the details and all the features that are available on the Octavia CLI. Feel free to check the help option on each command or the online documentation that we have. We are very excited to receive feedback from the community, so you can reach us on GitHub, Slack or Discourse, and I wish you happy coding with Octavia.